Looking for a movie that'll lead you down a path untread? How about we jaunt all the way over to Norway for an absolutely crooked and deranged little film called Good Boy. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below, share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Good Boy is new in select theaters, on demand and digital download from Saban Films. It's directed and written by Viljar Bo. Sigrid, played by Katrine Lovis Opstad Fredriksen, accepts a nudge from a dating app from Christian, played by guard Loke. And it's not far into their date that Sigrid becomes smitten with the handsome young man. So much so, Sigrid decides to go back to Christian's place where she meets his dog, Frank. The problem is that Frank is actually a man dressed as a dog. Christian attests that Frank chooses to identify as a dog, and Sigrid must always treat him as one. While she's freaked out at first, Sigrid begins warming up to Christian, him being a handsome billionaire and all, and accepts Frank as his canine companion. But when she agrees to go on a trip to a remote cabin in the woods, Sigrid begins thinking there's something rotten in Denmark, or in this case, Norway. To which I say, no shit, Sigrid. Wow. 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 This movie... This movie simply blew me away. It's as twisted as it comes, but also handles things in such a realistic way that there's never a step that doesn't seem thought out in some psychologically demented sort of way. Sure, it's nuts to have someone actually want to be treated like a dog, but put in the context of this film, it really isn't all that out of the question. That's how nuts this movie is, and that's the sick and twisted places this movie takes your brain. You actually accept the fact that someone would want to live in a dog suit and go around being treated as if he isn't a human being. And worse yet, that someone would accept the fact that it was okay to treat someone in such a way. Good Boy really says a lot about today's society as Sigrid accepts this situation pretty quickly. But to be honest, Christian is everything a gal would want. He's tall, fit, rich, charming, and handsome. And I'm sure there are gals out there who might be compelled to overlook something like his pet man-dog in order to get some of that. I mean, have you seen the dating scene out there these days? And while there are going to be some who scream at the scream, what the hell are you thinking, Sigrid, as Sigrid becomes entangled in Christian's world, if you're being honest with yourself, and I'm being honest with myself, we've all compromised something in our pursuits of happiness. That's the uncomfortable situation Good Boy brings up, and it makes us, as the audience, sit in that murky moral conundrum for the bulk of the movie. And that exact icky feeling is why I love this movie so much. The acting is superb. Both Katerine Lovis Opstad Hedrickson and Gard Lok are charming together at first. Both actors make you believe this oddball situation and maybe even root for them to find some kind of way to be happy together. The dog is wonderfully uncanny, it looks just enough like a dog to pass at a glance, but still strange enough that it would make you do a double take if you saw it on the street. Now of course there's a twist, this isn't some movie where Christian, Sigrid, and Frank trot off into the sunset together, but boy howdy did the final moments of Good Boy knock me on my ass. I was wondering if it was going to commit to the bit and really go to some bizarre territories, and this movie does not disappoint. All I'm saying is that you are going to feel the need for a shower and maybe a bit of sandpaper to the brain to cleanse yourself from the depths good boy goes. This is simply some warped ass shit. It might offend, it might disgust, it might even cause you to be angry at the movie once the credits roll, but I have to say I loved every depraved moment of this movie, especially the relentless end it ultimately comes to. I'm a firm believer that the best kind of horror makes you feel uncomfortable and because of that, I'm calling Good Boy the best type of horror. It's a film that will definitely make you question your own morals and how far you'd be willing to go for love. Good Boy blew me away. If you don't mind subversive and downright unhinged horror, 
You're the type of horror fan who's going to want to take a walk with this richly sick puppy of a movie. Good Boy is simply my kind of wrong. Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed You're Bye.